Okay, y'all, we're going to go on and get started. <clears throat> I want to thank you all for coming. I see a lot of faces that were here last month, but I see a lot of new faces too, so I think that's great. And, and we're also doing it again tomorrow night, so if you all know anybody who would like to come tomorrow, please let them know that we do still have room, same place, same time. Um, just a reminder, the workshop is sponsored by the Halifax County IDA, Halifax County Tourism, and the Halifax County Chamber of Commerce. <clears throat> excuse me, as an existing business initiative. And they wanted to do it as a way to try to help local businesses learn how to use social media more effectively so that you can grow your businesses. So we hope you all learn a lot, ask questions throughout. We don't mind being interrupted. And if we can't answer them tonight, if, if they're too detailed or whatever, um, we'll keep a list of them and we'll email out anything that we can't answer tonight. <clears throat> excuse me. My name is Lisa Kipps Brown, and this is my son, Glenn Brown, and we own Glare and Business Resources, which is a locally based company. We develop websites, mobile apps, that kind of thing. Um, tonight is strictly about Facebook. We might throw in a little bit about other media, other channels, social channels, in a way that ties them together with Facebook, but the basic of tonight, the basis for tonight is Facebook. And first of all, we want to talk about why would you use Facebook in your business? A lot of people, even a lot of people, either aren't on Facebook, or and they think they know what it is, and they think I don't want have any desire to be on there. It's a waste of my time. But a lot of people who use Facebook a lot for personal reasons don't really understand how to use it for their business. And either they've tried a little bit and they've never felt successful, or they haven't even tried because they just don't see any application for it. So we hope to overcome a little bit of that fear tonight and hopefully get your minds going as to ways that you might be able to use it. You want to talk? Um, there's a lot of advantages to using social media as a way to get your business out there. We talked about them in the, in the, in the last time we were here, but Facebook specifically is free for one, though you have to invest your time. It's just like anything else. There's a little time that you got to put into it. but as far as overhead goes, that's not a whole lot if you're willing to put in the time. There are over 800 million people using Facebook, which is, that, what were the, what, how much was it compared to the population it's of the U.S.? 300 and some million the population of the U.S. So, so it's, yeah. And those are active users. I don't believe that's everybody who's ever registered. I think those are yeah, just so the that's, active users. That's over, that's almost three times the population of the entire country is on Facebook. Uh, over 50 percent of those users log in a day so that's about 400 million people logging into Facebook per day and 40 percent of those people are 35 plus which means that 40 percent of those people probably got money to spend and are probably in your customer group unless you unless your product is geared towards children but then again they're probably parents or grandparents um let's see and this now that statistic down at the bottom is from March 2011 so I'm sure it's higher now but as of that time, 51% of all Americans age 12 and up have a Facebook account. And if you think about it, if you don't at least give it a shot and try, you're just automatically saying, I don't even want to try to reach that 51% of Americans. I just want to stick with what I'm doing now and try to make it work for me. That's a big number to try to, to just ignore. You know, imagine if you were invited to some kind of social function here locally and you knew that 50% of the people were going to be there and they were going to be open to talking to other people and having fun, you would want to go and have your business represented. So you need to start thinking about it that way, that it's not just a place to go and um, you don't want to go harass people and that kind of thing, but you want to go with an open mind and look at it as a way of networking. Um, in Facebook, anybody here that uses it personally, well, which ones of y'all do use it personally? Okay, most people. Who uses it for business? Well, that's good. That's still a good number. <clears throat> then y'all already know that people have profiles and businesses have pages. Now, some people will set up their own personal page and use it for business. That's really not a good idea for several reasons. First of all, you're blurring the lines between your business and your personal life. And that's okay that they cross over a little bit, but you don't want to only use your personal 
your personal profile for Facebook. Um, but the other reason is that there's so many different, so many more things that you can do on a business page than you can on a personal profile because they're specifically set up for businesses. Also, if Facebook finds out that you're using a personal profile as a business page, it, they'll cut it off because those are supposed to be um, for personal pay, for personal pe <laughs> for people, not for businesses. I'm sorry. Um, some of the advantages of having a business page is that you can have multiple admins. So the box over on the top right, and I just blurred it because when we put it on the Internet, I don't really want <clears throat> people to know all the pages that I can administer. <clears throat> but I'm set up as an admin on a number of different business pages. So when I'm logged into my personal account, I can go switch over and do something administratively to one of the business pages if I need to. I can post to it. I can make some kind of change to the account, anything that might need to be done to the page. But I can also set up other, administer, uh, um, other administrators for it. So for like our business, Glenn and Aaron both are also administrators for the page. So it's not left solely up to me. If it were your personal page, you don't want to give other people your personal login. So that's another reason to not use personal and business together. Um, on the business page, you can use apps and iframes, which the iframes do custom tabs. And that's the little box down here on the bottom left. All of these, excuse me, Glenn, <clears throat> are custom tabs from there down. We have our live chat support that is on our website where people can go and ask us questions and get answers live. But we also have it on our Facebook page in a tab. So if somebody's on Facebook and doesn't want to go over to the website, they can go ahead and ask us questions. We have an e-news e sign-up form there. Again, it's on our website, but we add it in a tab on our Facebook page. YouTube, we have a tab that has videos, and then we have a questions tab. I'm going to show you all in a minute what the tabs look like. And then the bottom right is just, that just shows how you can make somebody an admin. Once somebody likes your business page, you can open up the list of people who have liked it and there's a make admin button beside every single one and whoever you want to be able to have administrative access to the page you just click make admin and they're able to do it now if you accidentally click somebody just click it again and it'll remove them as admin okay do you have to have a personal facebook page to set up a business page or can you set one up as just a business no you have to have a personal business i mean a personal account, a personal Facebook account in order to then set up a business page. So there are two distinct types of pages or account types on Facebook, but they both are tied to one personal account. Let's look real quick at, um, at our tabs and then I will show you. See here, I'm, this is my personal page. So if I want to go to my business page, I can switch and use it as my company instead of as myself. Now this is <clears throat> this is our company page. Up here at the top, these are thumbnails of photo, some of the photographs that we've uploaded. And they're not necessarily photographs. In our case, most of them end up being images like this. It's artwork and that type of thing that we've designed or developed for clients. But down the right side here, Let's look at some of the custom tabs we've added. And I'm going to have to switch over. You're going to see for a minute that you're going to see it the way it looks like to an admin. If it'll finish loading, it's being kind of slow. Um, all right, see, that this is what my code looks like as an administrator. So I want to preview it and look, look at it. If one of y'all were to go to our business page, you would see that our support is online. And you could click the little button, and it would open up the chat. Let me see. It would open up the chat window. To um, and you could say whether you want to which department you want to contact. You could put in your name and then you could ask your question, and it would let us know. We get a huh? That's tied to your Facebook page. Yeah, it's actually this is a separate company. It's not a Facebook app. We have a, a hosted service with a live chat company, a live chat service, and we have this form. The little button is at the top of all of our pages on our website. But we added it using iframes. We added it to a tab to our Facebook page. So that way, if we have a client who is on Facebook 
they can go on and chat with us through Facebook if they need to. It's not using Facebook's chat, though. It's a totally separate service, but it's embedded within this tab. So anyway, once somebody, and this is a separate service, but the way it would work is once somebody fills it out and clicks start chat, then a little window would open to us and with a ding and let us know, you know, there. right. So anyway, that's one type that we have now. You can put anything that you want at all, but these are just things that we've done. Um, we have the, the form for people to sign up for our e-newsletter. Um, for some reason, Facebook has been being really slow all day. We noticed it at, at, at the office, and it's being slow here, too. So here's our newsletter sign up. This is on our website, but if somebody signs up through Facebook, it does the exact same thing. Once they click sign up, it just comes up with a little message that says thanks for, um, thanks for signing up. And then that way, again, it keeps them in one spot. They don't have to click around. Um, YouTube. Now this is, this one is a Facebook app that we installed within our account and we just have, we have the, the videos from our last workshop on here starting at number one and going through number eight. So this links to your YouTube? Yeah. Uh, specific it, videos on there. Yeah. Work. We don't want all of our videos coming in because we have videos for clients and, and other things. So we have specific videos pulled in. And if you were to click the play thing, it would just play right here instead of going to YouTube. So if you had like product demonstration, mm -hmm. like you know, Mike's incidents, how to operate a chair and put it up and down. <laughs> yeah. Um, then you could put that video there with a the click. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, and see, we've shared those videos on our wall. Do, do you, does everybody, does anybody not know what a wall is on Facebook? Well, I'll just tell you because you're probably embarrassed to say that you don't. <laughs> your wall, all it is is your page. And so people can write on your wall and you can write on your wall. People can send you messages. So we've shared those videos on our wall, but after a while, you know, they go down because new content comes up to the top. So by having a, that tab there for YouTube, it's always there. People can easily get to it without, without either having to go to our YouTube channel or without digging through all of our old posts. This other one I just added, we don't really use it, but it might come in handy for some of y'all, so I just added it to show you. It's a, this is also a Facebook app, it's called Questions, and I just put one question on there. But people could actually come and answer it if they want to. A lot of companies do use this, and they might use it because they have a big following of people that have a lot of questions, or they might even use it internally. You know, like maybe, and I mean, you don't want to have questions on there that would be um, proprietary or anything like that. But I can't even think of an example right now. I mean, Can you? Facebook is a huge um, sample group for uh, polls and anything like that. So if you're if you're looking to come up with a new product or looking to see how a product would do in a certain market, you could just throw a question up there and see if people like it. Yeah. They can answer it. They can give you ideas that you might not have had yourself that you can use. And like I added that, I didn't. I just put it up. I didn't really tell anybody. He promoted ahead of time. If I had, people could have come and said, "I want you to answer this." And so we could have come with a list of ahead of time that we knew that people wanted to know about. So you have the option of putting a question on your your wall. On your wall. Or keeping it. Right. If you have it on this questions tab, uh -huh. then that keeps all the questions together. Okay. That doesn't mean that you never want to have questions on your wall because a lot of people use questions as a way to spark conversation on the wall. But if for questions that you want to be able to keep there and have easy access for yourself and others, you're better off putting them on this tab. But then when you do, you still want to put it, you want to share it on your wall and let people know that you've posted the question because a lot of people wouldn't go to the questions tab otherwise. Let me just show you real quick. If somebody were to click on it, then it would open it up and it looks like pretty much everything, you know, any other comment box. But so, um, here's where I had the question and I could, I could go and write something. Let me see what this add an option thing is. That's it's, if you- for a poll. Okay, yeah. So you can tell I don't use questions. So you can add options. I just put up an open-ended question though. Now, only only an administrator would be able to add an option, right? Mm -hmm. Because, okay. All right. So let's go.